hi 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 i was sitting here i just got finished posting the video and i was thinking to myself a lot about daycare and my new thoughts about everything i was sitting here thinking because lately i've been really having mixed feelings uh, i'm about to be a real pregnant person and sit here talk to you and eat ice cream out of a carton fun fact i really don't like eating ice cream that's not straight from the carton <laughs> and what i mean by that is if it's my own ice cream uh, i generally buy like my husband his own ice cream and i get my own carton because i feel like once you start putting in the bowl i really hate melted ice cream so I always eat from my cartons. So if I ever offer you ice cream in my house, best to believe it was never one that I touched. But anyway, let's sit here and talk. Look at me y'all, I'm out here. <laughs> so we about to have a little chat and while I eat my butter pecan, which is one of my favorite ice creams. So anyway, like I said, I've been having mixed feelings about Nala being in daycare. And I don't know if I necessarily like it anymore. So I'm definitely out of that scared stage. I definitely don't have any of like the fears or anything like that. But one thing I don't like, and I kind of mentioned this before, if you watched me previously talk about my, my daycare and, you know, experience and stuff like that. I don't feel like she's learning anything. Well, I know she's not learning anything. And that bothers me because I don't get to spend time with Nala. I get off work at 3 o'clock and I could easily pick her up after I get off work. But with the traffic in my area... By the time I get to her and come back, it'll be the same time that David actually picks her up from daycare anyway. So it's pointless. So when I drop her off at daycare, the only thing they do is watch her. Like, watch her, that's it. They eat, they sleep, they play. That's all they do. There's no like different types of interactions. They usually like when they're kind of playing, they put her in a machine or the same things I do. I put her in a plane toys or they lay her down, let her play with the friends and that's it. But I feel like if I'm going to be paying for my daughter to be away from me, I really want them to engage and talk to them, read to them, sing to them, something. Like... They wasn't even really teaching her like how to sit up or anything like that. I don't expect them to replace me, but if I'm paying you and my daughter is there like 10 hours a day, and then it's like when she comes home, all she's doing is playing a little bit more and then she's going to sleep. So now I try my best to like read to her. So I started reading her these little like five minute princess stories at night. It seemed like she liked it. So, um, I'm going to try my best to keep doing it between her schedule. A lot of times when she comes home, she's like really tired. So, I basically got to try to like force a bath and force a little playtime with her. And then she's ready to sleep. Like, that's it. That's, that's five days a week. And on Mondays, I'm generally off. But I got so much stuff to catch up on because especially now that I only have two days off a week. I don't know if it sounds like what I'm saying that makes sense. But overall, it's just, I want more out of daycare. And now I'm starting to feel like it's time for my baby to really start really progressing. It's not that she's not progressing. I think she's progressing pretty good now. Like after the whole holding head up thing and all that stuff. I don't really have a big problem with her progression. But Nala's really active. And I don't want all her energy to be wasted on just playing around. Like I want her to get other avenues. Or not just be doing the same type of activities every single day. Like I wish I could be able to like. Am I get? Am I about about to get sad? I don't know. But I wish I could like take her out for like walks 
Oh, this is definitely pregnancy hormones. But I wish I could like take her out for walks and like let her explore. We still haven't got to the whole swimming thing. Like let her explore with that. Like so when I give her like baths at night, I try to like let the water run into like her little tub thing just so like she can kind of experience a little bit of like water in a different avenue. Ah, perfect time to eat ice cream. There's a part of me just feel guilty. And I don't know why like then we have to work to keep her in daycare and to make money and stuff like that. And like my problem is not daycare in general. It's just the daycare that we can afford for her to go to. I don't know what I'm saying. Like I am already feel bad that I'm away from her 10 hours a day. Can't really spend no time with her. Oh gosh, I did not expect to cry. Oh, I'm always crying, I feel like. But being away from her 10 hours a day, and then now that I work Saturdays, I only get Sundays, like, a full day with her. Like, I remember when I was a child, I was a little delayed. Well, I was delayed because, not because I was dumb, but because no one just taught me things. Like, I didn't, I didn't even learn to tie my shoe until I was sick. David texted me about Nala. Oh. Oh gosh, hold on. <sighs> Look at my baby. I'm such a mom. She got school pictures. Remember I told you guys that she was having school pictures and I wasn't excited because she blew out her outfit, but it still turned out good. Oh, she did so good. Anyway, okay, let me go back. I didn't learn to tie my shoe. Learn how to do a lot of things because nobody was there showing me what to do. And it's simple things. And I remember almost getting put into like, I don't know what's the proper term for those classes, but like disability, like learning disabilities or whatever, because there was just things that I was behind on. And when right before that almost happened my sister really came through for me it was like no you know i'm gonna do it or whatever i'm gonna show you so she really started teaching me a lot of stuff from that point on it's like straight a's on everything and so i know from my experience you can easily fall behind so i think there's a part of me that feels guilty that if i'm putting her in this situation because i this is what i can afford that I feel bad that I can't at least be there to show her new things or put her in a program that will show her different things. So the plan is, is to, when this baby comes, that Nala would be in daycare a little bit longer, depending on how our finances is, until I can adjust to new baby and then take Nala out of daycare and then I'm gonna be home for a little bit and quit my job. But that was the plan this time and it didn't happen. So I think it's a chance that I'm gonna stay home this time because I don't think we can afford to have two kids in daycare for almost $2,000 a month. I don't know, I just wanted to talk to you guys about daycare because I have been getting updated questions about it and I have been having different feelings that I haven't had before. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. But I am home. Waiting on David and Nala coming. I'm also waiting on Nala's new car seat because they're supposed to be delivered today. I guess now what I can do is start on doing some Christmas decorating, which I am, even though it may not look like it, am in the holiday chair. I am in the holiday mood. I have been very excited. Oh, we booked the hotel for Nala's first trip to Disney World. So that would be next year. So I'm excited about that. So it'll be all things getting prepared for Disney. We will be there for four days. So super excited about that. So because of that, I am really ready to get into decorating for Christmas as well as 
adding little Disney touches. Who am I? I don't know, but we're gonna get to it. So, this is the Christmas buckets. This is like my DIY Christmas bucket. And I think this is the one where the wreaths are in. Yep. So, yeah, I really need to get into this stuff so we'll know what more than we need. Oh, Thanksgiving is coming, ain't it? Gotta definitely look at this tree. We flopped our tree last year but it was a very messy situation so you gotta see about trying to clean that off so that Nala won't touch it. I'm gonna get so dusty after this but I don't think it's as bad as it was. I'm gonna get this stuff off. I don't wanna do that. I'm sweeping the tree y'all. I don't think it's really that bad. No, no, that was that not that bad. Let me finish doing this and we'll come back to it. So I am taking a break from sweeping the tree because baby girl is home. And David went to go walk the dog. I gotta wipe her face. It's so annoying, I swear. Like, every time she comes home from daycare, she has like dried up boogers. I mean, not boogers, but runny nose that dried up on her face. Say hi, baby. Yeah! Hi, baby! Hi, baby! Let's clean that face. Let's clean that face. She hate clean that face. Nope, don't jump. <laughs> don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's like every day I pick her up, she has like dried up snot on her face. <laughs> this is how David did it her today. I'm just letting him be great. So yeah, I'm taking a quick break while I am waiting on David to come back and I posted a video. Why not um, give a couple shout outs to a couple of the people on my comment on my new video. Shout out to Brittany Leah plus three. Shout out to you girl for being one of the first commenters. Um, Natasha O. Shout out to you. Also, Phil Suddenly Princess, Cheyenne Chrisman, shout out to you. Thank you for the comment. But Shawnee Wayne, shout out to you, girl. Long time subscriber. So that was like the first hour of commenters. So shout out to you guys for commenting on my latest video. I really do appreciate you guys um, being involved and invested into the channel. You have a Take off. Take off then, girl. Take off then, girl. <laughs> Do y'all know she got like 18 now? Did I tell you guys that? Look at her little smile. Yeah, look. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, look at all your little TPTs. <laughs> So yeah, we just gonna hang out here, play. I'm gonna keep scrolling through some of the comments, answering comments back after that party, attend to the tree, and then see what else I could do. For Look who's home. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm hungry, so I'm eating this little, you know, peanut bar or whatever. Why are you trying to sound so smooth? I'm just talking. Uh-huh. I don't know how much time, I'm just talking. Whatever. 
This would probably be a cool spot to have the chairs at. Mm -hmm. But it need to be something right here that we can sit on. Yeah, because it's laying on the floor. Ain't what's it? Ain't yeah. what's happening? The carpet feel better than this mm -hmm. sponge thing. This kind of feel hard. I don't like it. You don't like what? Laying on it. On the phone? Mm -hmm. You would think it would be softer. She like it. Yeah, she like it. She well, but... It's protecting her from really hurting herself, but at the same time, it's like, it ain't comfortable to sit on. I'd rather sit on, I could sit on the um, carpet longer than I could sit on this. Mm -hmm. Still patiently waiting on this convertible car seats. If it ever comes. It's supposed to. Should have wrote them a nasty gram. You know, I'm good for writing emails, but I ain't been feeling like it. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so... <laughs> It's like, what, 8 o'clock mm -hmm. at night? And fed it so ratchet. <laughs> they uh, rang the doorbell and took off. I was supposed to um, give a signature for these things. And they hear, they hear the 8 o'clock at night. They made it. They... I can't pick them up. You can hand it off to me. But you gotta bring this in the house. You gotta hand it to me. She got on the diaper. She got on the diaper. <laughs> Come on now. Time to get these car seats. Time to get this car seat. Gave you the hiccups. Yeah, it's disrespectful. He rode off so fast, he didn't want to go to work. Sorry about that, but the camera died, y'all. So, David did bring in the car seats. But we are about to, well, he is about to read to her. So, I'm going to get her princess book, which he put back in here. Grab her princess book and her milk. That's her outfit tomorrow. I love these little like sleeper outfit things because it'd be so cold at daycare. So they come with a hair bow, they got a tutu, they got an outfit, and a sleeper in one. So that's what she's wearing tomorrow. This one? Yeah, it's the Belle story now. Beauty and the Beast. Belle and the castle puppy. Belle was strolling through the castle garden one chilly spring day when she heard a whimpering sound. A puppy was huddled outside the castle gates. He looked cold and dirty. Oh, you poor thing, Belle cried. Let's get you warmed up and fed. She wrapped up the puppy in her red cloak and hurried to the castle. Well, he just finished reading it. And she's starting to get really, really sleepy. Hey, bitch. Why don't you just let her fall on her little foot? I guess. <laughs> yeah, she's really sleepy. So now she's getting a little antsy and all over the place. I guess that's the cue. It's only 6.32. That's the crazy part. It's only 6.32. But to her, it's almost her bedtime. We haven't been able to get her acclimated to the new time change and whatnot so we just let her do her and ironically she still wakes up at five mm -hmm. so until she just naturally adjusts we just let her do what she wants to do so right now she's sleepy so i'm gonna go ahead and put her to bed but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video i definitely do love you guys I appreciate you watching uh, the Isaac family, and we'll see you in the next one. In the next one. All right. Bye.